hello guys and welcome to automation in today's tutorial we are going to learn how to create a simple web scraping application with the help of selenium web scraping application just means to go ahead and collect data from some application in this case our application is going to be a web application web scraping is also called as data mining it can be called as uh, web crawlers uh, there are many names to it okay but the basic underlining concept remains the same go ahead collect data from an application so let's start with something easy and uh, covering all of our previous topics which we have covered till now so let's do one thing we'll go ahead and search a keyword in google say selenium okay and google will load certain web pages what our application is or what our program is going to do is it is going to go ahead and collect uh, all of the search results say for five pages okay so up to five pages i want all of the results thrown by google so what does that mean i want all of these links so it's going to be a long video let us break it into two parts first part i'll show how to navigate from to all the pages okay from page 1 to page 5 okay and in the next tutorial we learn about um, getting all these links and displaying it okay so let's get started shall we so uh, let me create a tutorial number 11 a class let me call it as uh, google google scraper okay let me add a main class I do not want to write everything again in my previous tutorials uh, I have written something setting property opening driver and navigating to a page let me copy that let me paste it here okay instead of new tools let it be Google okay so yeah this will take us to Google next is to search selenium so let me get this property i think it has got name has q right so div okay so input with name q so how to get that thing done driver dot okay, if you are new to this go ahead and refer to my previous tutorials we have given all of this so find by name okay made a mistake there find by name okay and the name is going to be q and dot send keys and it's going to be say selenium okay let me copy this again okay this time instead of just typing in selenium i'm going to hit the enter key so k e y s dot enter okay so once i do this it should go ahead and search for selenium so once I do that, I need to go ahead and you know click on these links right here. I can go ahead and click on next five times, but I want to take a complicated approach so you, know, you all understand you know an alternate way of getting things done by using XPaths. So what I'll do is I click on one, two, three, you know these numbers, these links right here. So let me go ahead and inspect uh, inspect one of it, one of them so here we go so it's an anchor and uh, it has got some class f1 and it has got an inner text 2 so let me use these two properties and see if it works so fl right so it is going to anchor okay at the rate class has fl and the text is equal to okay, 2 okay so here we go 2 was highlighted right there 3 and 4 look on top 5 6 7 so yeah just by changing this number right here I can uh, pinpoint to one of these links right here note one is on the link because we are on page number one 
so let me go and copy this into a program right here so I need to iterate through say first five pages so let me make a for loop okay and uh, for i is equal to say one till i is less than equal to phi i plus plus okay and uh, what I want to do here say let me create a variable right here say string str x path okay and this x path is going to be the one which I got right here okay and when it is running for the first time I want this to be 1 and 2 so I basically want this i since i is a variable I need to close my string here put a plus again close my string here and put a plus okay so this is my x path which is dynamic as per the iteration next I need to click on the particular link so driver dot find element definitely by x path by x path and x path dot click after I click I definitely do wait for a few seconds for the results to load so dread dot sleep let me sleep for just two seconds I think that should be enough let me put a uh, sleep right here as well after we search so let me just put a throws exception right here let me see if this works mm. I think it should not why because when it runs for the first time it is going to find link number one and we do not have link one right so we'll do one small thing over here if okay if I is greater than one if I is greater than one then perform this task Okay, let me remove all this and show you the code. This is the code which we have written. Okay, let me run this and see what happens. I hope it works. So here we go, Selenium, page 1. And okay, page 2, page 3, page 4, and page 5 am I right page 5 perfect okay so we are done with this uh, I think we are running short of time uh, now the next step is we are we have made a program to navigate through all the pages now we have to make a program okay within this itself to go ahead and remove the um, data of all of these links or scrape all of these links so we'll get that thing done in the next tutorial following this uh, see you then uh, one more point to note is I've hard-coded all of these values in reality please don't do like this it should not be hard-coded I'm getting this done only from a tutorial point of view so it becomes easier for you all to understand okay see you all in the next uh, tutorial goodbye